and got lots and lots of um, Easter egg hunts in, which was really good. The children did something really um, interesting um, this year. They hid Easter eggs for me, and so then I had to go hunt for them, which was really cool. And then in turn, we swapped. We had such a great time. It was really good. So I really hope you had a good family time, and I can't believe that... Um, we have been on this journey now for coming up to 20 days and it's been exciting and I've been really enjoying doing this. Um, we've made the decision not to go live because I can't guarantee um, internet connectivity because it seems like everybody's watching movies and sometimes the uploads are a bit patchy. So I thought we'll do a lovely um, video each day and I'll, I'll still post it at 10 o'clock but it will be better quality and, um, and I really hope that you can still enjoy them. Um, we'll still keep the time going and I will still answer any questions and um, do shout outs through the comments once you leave them on, on, on the page, either on the YouTube one or on Facebook, that'd be wonderful. And to kick this week off, I have a true or false question and um, I was um, going to steer away from food and then oh, Toby has this wonderful book, it's called 5,000 Awesome Facts About everything but um one of the facts that caught my eye was still to do about food so true or false when you swallow chewing gum it stays in your system for up to seven years true or false i'll just double check that yes that was the question true or false and if you swallow your chewing gum that will stay in your body for up to seven years Okay, now today's story, this is um, um, was requested from a cousin of ours up in Auckland, so big shout out to Bex, and she said, do you have the tiger who came to tea? And we do. I do have a bigger copy somewhere, so I will try to um, make sure that you guys can see the pictures, but once again, oh my gosh, there seems to be a theme about favourite stories and tigers in this house. So, the tiger who came to tea. Once there was a little girl, girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Bing bong! Sophie's mum said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We better open the door and see. <gasps> Sophie opened the door and there was a big fairy stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Very polite tiger. Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. As tigers do. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them up in one big mouthful. <coughs> and he still looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Oh, Mr. Tiger, you're a bit greedy. <gasps> and then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Still hungry. He ate all the supper. That was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk, all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper and the tiger has eaten it all up. 
And Sophie found he couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and Mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. Good idea, Dad. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages, chips and ice cream. Yum! In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also brought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. The tiger came to tea. Wonderful. Now that question I said... Do if you swallow your gum, it stays in your body for up to seven years. All right, are we ready? Drum roll. Whoosh. Now the answer is false. It doesn't stay in your body for up for seven years. I was told that as a child, and it's really interesting that it is still told to children to this day. So if you do swallow it, oh, but one thing, um, don't go to bed chewing chewing gum because I have done that and then when I woke up I had a big blob of chewing gum on my hair and then I had to get it cut out and then I looked like a right doofus because I had a bald patch right here. So don't do that. I'm not saying that you should go to bed with eating and chewing gum. But don't worry, if you swallow it, it's not going to stay there for seven years. So I really hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.